I don't really recall a specific pivotal moment when I was a kid, but I had always been super interested in all kinds of different things, arts, music, dance, drawings, and like calligraphy. So I kind of kept my interest broad while pursuing music as career. Um, and that really, really served me well as a human being, really. Even when I was a musician, I, I think my interest of design and other performance arts really helped me broaden my views of like how I see music and how I see other arts. A pivotal moment during my school years was definitely when I formed a jam band. Um, with a couple of friends outside of school. I've always been interested in like art and designs and different genre of music other than classical, but um, it wasn't really until then that I was really designing something that people actually paid money to buy. Um, I've designed concert posters throughout my student life, um, but it was always kind of internally. So as my band go around playing shows in different places, uh, we were selling, you know, posters and swags, merchandise. I was also designing for album covers and people were buying all of those things. So that really kind of changed my view of what I can do with design and music. The pivotal moment in my career was when I was deciding between the bread and the passion. There are various work environments for designers, including in-house corporates, startups, to creative agencies. And as a seeker of new experiences, I've tried them all. So there are, of course, pros and cons in each um, workspace. And I'm really happy where I landed now I'm working with like-minded people at a creative agency and we're basically expanding each other's imaginations every day. So what I learned is that don't be afraid to explore, be open-minded and find out what makes me thrive and pushes me as a better person through my crafts. And no journey is a waste of time they will become the nutrient of the future one way or the other.